Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. I am in complete hope that you might be okay in your respective homes. Moment of UT of JNK is well set to conduct your exam in ages of the month of October or November online because this is only the more left for us. It is wise attempt and moral obligation and compulsion on us to remain inside our homes, stick to the books so that we can crack these examinations with a difference. In addition, COVID-19 infection is also gaining pace. It is putting or building huge, huge amount of pressure on the globe, killing people in lakhs. When we remain sitting to the books around the day, it's sort of quarantine for us. It will definitely save us from the COVID-19 infection. And secondly, we get fully prepared for the coming examinations and we will crack these examinations with a good march. Today, without use of whiteboard, through the communication skills of a teacher, you may learn something on a short video of five or six minutes. The topic under discussion is military rule in Bangladesh. It's class 12, the political science. Dear students, it might be well in your knowledge, full-time war broke between India and Pakistan in 1971. In that war, finally Bangladesh, that is the eastern part of the Pakistan, got liberated. And now we are seeing it, watching it a sovereign state in the form of Bangladesh. In 1975, they opted for the presidential type of government. But the thing has changed with the passage of time. In 1982, General Mahmud Irshad Hussain led a military coup there. He suspended the government of, elected government of President of the Star suspended the constitution, dissolved the parliament. A.F. M. Chaudhary Hussain was, he was a justice, chief justice, he was made the president and he remained in the office till he was made president on 17th of, 27th of March 1982 and he resumed the office after 1983. In 1983, president this Marshal, Chief of the Army Staff, General Mahmoud Arshad Hussain himself became the President. Dear students, but the pressure grown there, people, people start movement for the restoration of the democracy there. In 1983, he promised, he promised the people that elections will be held so that the democracy will restore in the in Bangladesh in 1984. But with the passage of time, these, demo, these elections did, did not held in 1980 to 84. Finally, in order to legitimize his regime, he went for a referendum. He asked the people to vote whether I should continue as a military dictator or there should be a newly government elected government. So the referendum came in, people were asked to vote whether I continue as a military dictator as a president or not. Elections were held in 19, this referendum was held in 1984 in which the overall percentage in his favor was 94.4% and the turnout was 72.2%. But the opposition parties, because when military coup was, was done, when the military rule came in, all the political parties were ban banned. But the political parties called it, it's, it's a totally fad. So in a fad way, the General Rishad, General Rishad did the referendum and finally, the turnout or the percentage of votage, percentage of votes he get in his favor to continue his military rule, that is 90.4% according to political parties was totally fair. But with the passage of time, people start demonstrating, they start um, protesting to restore the democracy in the Bangladesh because like Pakistan, it uh, Bangladesh was carved out, out of the Pakistan in um, Pakistan. 
many a time as military cooks were held yet right from the Uyub Khan, Yahya Khan of General Parvez Musharraf. The same strategy also hit the Bangladesh General Irshad first time as did their military coup and finally in 2008 the military coup came to the end and there was the restoration of the democracy. So dear students, this is all about how the military rule came in Bangladesh first time in 1982, how General Irshad suspended the constitution and also dissolved the president, this elected government of elected government of President Ubustar and did referendum there by the referendum he uh, continued his military rule because of referendum because 94 percent people were in his favor but the opposite parties or political parties were banned raised a question it was a totally fad the students in 2008 this rule this military rule finally came to an end. Now we are seeing Bangladesh is a sovereign state where democracy is in operation. There are students, the video of five or six minutes, we cannot describe the fully what happened in the fully what happened during the military rule there. But it's enough for you is the information how military rule came there in Bangladesh. The next class, when I will reveal something more on the same topic, you will get the concept of the welfare here. But before leaving the class, I am advising you some good books of political science are with you, some good reference books of political science are with you. Do see these things on the political science books, political science reference books. In case of any query which strikes your mind or any question strikes your mind regarding this topic, you can call me on my number that is 7006670106 or WhatsApp me on 7006670106. Even you are free to post your query on my e email that's kgm38864 at the rate of gmail.com and within short time your query shall be answered. Dear students, if you want the voice call help in any time around the day, I am free, I am always at your disposal because I am getting paid from the state exchequer and it's my moral obligation to help you, to guide you, to counsel you in these days of pandemic. Their students give due time to all subjects plus political science so that you will crack the coming exams with a difference. It was a short video on the military, military rule in Bangladesh. In next class, I will deliver something more on the same topic. Till then, take care. Be balanced.